finally going to be making another video almost a year later in almost the same spot with pretty much the same as last time. But this time, well, to it. I'm doing I put a different deck in this truck, or actually a, a deck, I guess I should say, and uh, wired in the, oh, it doesn't work. Finishing up the turn, but uh, wired in the power seat. So what I'm going to be doing is, since I already have these leather and the console and all that out of a new truck, I'm like, I'm putting that dash in. So I'm going to start on putting that dash in this truck. So this is going to be a very long process and I was going to wait till winter time. But I might as well start now. So, well, I guess you're going to want to start with is removing this bezel here. So I'll do that. And to remove this, it's just four T20 torque screws. And then, yeah, well, that buzzer is gonna be loud. Then you just have to work it out of here. Yeah, that should work. I don't know if I can get this one handed, but. Oh, damn it. That finally broke. Yeah. Pull this out, and you undo the connection. This one is not hard. And the other one. I don't think none of these are hard. It's just awkward to find out. So that comes out next to the cluster. And this thing. And that's just a 7mm there. Usually, every interior piece on the GM, all you'll need is a 7mm, T15 or 20, wherever that ratchet went. And, uh,. 7mm, T20, or 15, and a flat blade. Climate control comes out with these four 7 mils that go around it. And you unplug that, push in the top. One hand's a bit of a bitch. So, radio now comes out at 7, 7. Oh, it's supposed to be on there, I guess. Yeah, so it's three sevens, but I only have two in. And, yeah. Radio's out now, but I forget how to unhook this. You might cut it. I don't know what you do. But now you can't get the last two cluster screws, which is one right there. One right there. To get the cluster out, you pull it forward and just wait a second. Oh, yeah, never mind. There's something else you have to do. The, uh, the needle here for the shift is linkage. So, how you do that is there's this little plate down here held on by sevens. So you get that plate off, and then right here on the column, you're gonna see this whole thing, and you just kind of work that backwards. It's better, it's better if you get it quicker. There you go. Now the cluster. Uh, I can't. Let me video off my phone. Uh, but it don't fall. So pull it out. You might have to work it. No, as you can see, it's hanging there. So take the cluster out, and you're left with that. Now, to get most of this stuff out here, it's pretty easy. You don't really need to watch this first part. So, everything here, it kind of just comes out. So, now I'm going to start working with the harder stuff. I guess I can take that out because that can come out. Well, we easily can before the dash starts getting loose. There's one here, a bolt, one there, and the one there. Three seven mils, pull them out. Now, if you don't have a now, if you don't have a single din deck in here and you still have the cassette player, it's a bit a little bit harder with that cassette, but it's easy if you have a deck. And I literally have never seen many of these trucks without the deck here. I think everyone in the grandmother's done it. So what you do? Well, it might break something, but pull down, pull back, and do that harness. So I got the radio out. That's so explanatory if you have it. Now down here, you're going to see seven mils running all across the bottom. Every one of them you see, you take them out. If you don't think you should, well you should. An exception is right here on the driver's side, right beside the hood release, the hood latch, hood release I guess I should say, is this one. Because you undo this one and this whole fixture for this light comes down, this courtesy foot light. Now, you should keep this up here because of the wire that runs to power it. 
keep it there. Don't do that one. Don't do this one though. Now after you get to right there, which is just the right bottom steering column, your little ashtray and 12 volt will come out. And to undo it, you just, pretty sure you just twist and do that. You'll figure it out. What you do is there's those little handles right there, or little things that hold onto the 12 volt. And that little lip right there. Yeah, you just pop those off. Now if you get through there, I don't know. I'll figure it out. What I did is I just worked it through right there. On each side, right above the kick panel, there's going to be a 13 millimeter that goes straight up. And to move that might be easiest to take out the kick panel. Now, after you get all those lowered ash bolts, you want to come to the glove box, and I don't know if you have to do this. Mm -hmm. Take off that vent. Now, you have to take off the speaker cover, and undo that one right there. Same on the other side. For simplicity in removing the dash after, you're going to want to undo this thing. And it's just a bunch of 7 mils all the way around. You'll see them. Don't do the ones that are right around the red trim or whatever color yours is. So that, hey, you just make it harder on yourself. So I got a little carried away. But basically, I showed every bolt you have to take out. So what you do is after this, you have to pop this, where is it, right there. These go over those little bolts. And you pop it up and the dash starts to come. Now, I started working on the other side already with undoing connections and such. So basically, you undo the harnesses. Now, I'm just going to put this back up here so it's a bit easier. But you basically start doing unconnections. Okay. So you start undoing connections and you have to drop the steering column, which is just two nuts somewhere in there yeah there's the oh yeah right there you can see it so it's two 15 mils and that comes you undo the door dinger that's not hard but basically you undo the connections all the wiring so basically after you take out the fuse box the park brake the OBD1 and just everything from back here. I took out the the, uh, the heater, like, like the tubing there, to make it easier to get the main harness out. So after that, pull it out. <laughs> 